Good morning, everybody. Um, happy Tuesday. I am sitting in my favorite reading spot this morning, which is in my room, in my bed, um, all cuddled up. I would love to know if you have a favorite reading spot in your house. And if you do, please send it to me so that I can see where it is and see where you guys have been reading your books. But today we're going to read a book called Another Monster at the End of This Book. And it is a story about um, Elmo and Grover. It's a starring lovable furry old Grover and equally lovable furry little Elmo. And this is a funny story. So I cannot wait to see your face when you see who the other monster is at the end of this book. But before we do that, let's work on what today's date is. Everybody say today is Tuesday, April 7th. 2020. Awesome job. Bonus points if you can say that all by yourself and send me a video. Here we go. Another monster at the end of this book. Another monster at the end of this book? Oh no! Another monster? He will not go any further in this book. But Elmo loves monsters. Mr. Grover, turn the page please. Elmo, I am not going to the end of this book if there's a monster there. Monsters are not to be t trifled with. I am going to stay right here on the first page. Okay, Mr. Grover, Elmo will go see the monster all by himself. Turn the page, please. Will you please stop turning pages? We get closer to the monster at the end of this book. Elmo, come with me. We are not, we are going home right now. Elmo, Elmo, where are you? Turn the page. Elmo, you do not understand that at the end of this book, there is a monster? It could be a nice furry monster like you or me or Cookie or Henry. But it could also be a big, scary, hungry monster with sharp teeth and claws and an attitude. Therefore, I am putting these hundreds of paper clips here just to remind you that we are not going to the end of this book. Yes, Mr. Grover. Turn the page, please. <laughs> All right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I have now taken all of your alphabet blocks and built a huge castle right here. No one can turn this page now. Elmo says, turny, turny, turny. <laughs> enough is enough. I, Grover, am now clung this page down so that it cannot turn. And if you cannot turn the page, we will not get to the monster at the end of this book. Ha! So he's gluing it shut. Look at what Elmo says. Do it. <laughs> Elmo, please, please forget about seeing the monster at the end of this book and come back with me to the beginning of the book. Pretty, pretty, please. He's begging him. Little Elmo wants to see the monster. Turn the page. So Mr. Grover seems to be really nervous. And is Elmo nervous at all? Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. This will not stop you from turning pages. I, Grover, have put a thick steel wall so no one can ever turn this page. What do you say to that, little Elmo? 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 Where are you, Elmo? Elmo is on the next page. <laughs> All right, we will go to see the monster, but just one little peek. When I say turn the page, you jump in front, in from the back of the book, and I will jump in from the front. We will see the monster and we will run like bunny rabbits. Listen carefully. You tiptoe around to the back of the book. I, Grover, will stay here. 
Are you at the back of the book, little Elmo? Yes, Mr. Grover. Then here we go. One, two, get ready to turn the page and then run like a bunny rabbit. Three, turn the page. I never thought that the monster at the end of this book would be you, little Elmo. You, you, whatever. You, 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 you. No, no, Mr. Grover, you are the monster at the end of this book. I saw you. You, 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 you. <laughs> Where are you going? Elmo is going back two pages to see the monster again. <laughs> so the monster at the end of the book was both of them. Did anybody see that coming? Um, but yes, reply to this video and I want you to share with me your favorite reading spot like I shared with you. This is my bed. This is my room. I've got some stuff around me and a little lamp and my oils and my coffee. And it's just a relaxing spot to read in. So I want to know about yours. Bye.